you must have seen a lot of circular columns but have you ever seen a circular beam you know why don't we actually construct the circular beams all right so there are two reasons for that okay so i'll explain the first reason first yeah so you cannot explain the second reason first right okay so you must have studied this uh, bending equation in uh, strength of materials right so it says sigma by i y is equal to m by I, right so this is the this is your bending equation where sigma is the bending stress right so sigma is the bending stress sorry for my poor handwriting bending stress right so bending stress means the stress that is generated due to bending right so you got your beam here there's uh, some pressure. so when you apply the load it gets bent right and due to this bending stress is generated that is called the bending stress okay so the bending must be pure bending it means that it must only bend so there shouldn't be any shear force or the axial force for the compressive and the tensile loads all right so there must be only the bending moment okay and uh here y represents the position of any plane with respect to the neutral axis for example if this is your uh, beam section and if it, this is your neutral axis and suppose that you're considering any point over here and this distance is called the y right and i we know it's the moment of inertia right so it is the moment of inner uh, shear right okay so uh now we get from here m by y i into y right so if we consider m and y as a uh, constant then what happens is that sigma is inversely proportional to 1 by i so it means that uh, if i increases if i increases sigma decreases and if i decreases sigma increases right okay so if we consider any rectangular section and if we consider the circular section so they uh, both have a uh, same cross-sectional area csa Oops, csa right so if the uh, if you consider these two sections have the same cross-sectional area then we find that moment of inertia i is greater for the uh, rectangular section as compared to as compared to the circular section which have the lower moment of inertia right so if this has higher moment of inertia then in this case sigma is lower if this has a lower moment of inertia then in this case sigma is high right so due to this reason we don't go for the circular sections as in case of the beams all right and another reason is that while we cast the beam and the slab at the side what happens is that there is your slab then goes your beam right and there is your slab right so here is your total depth of the slab including the beam right okay so uh, the worker what he, what he does uh, he you know uh, he cuts the form up for uh, this portion then this portion this portion this portion and he joins them so after joining them he just uh, you know uh, he just puts them in position using this vertical props right so like this okay so if you have got you know circular section instead of this uh, rectangular section in that case what happens is that so you have to make something like this right something like this right circular section and to make this section like this it's very hard and it's very tough to cast uh, these kind of beams right so you cannot you know put your form works like this and you know how you're gonna uh, support these uh, form works with your props so it's very tough so due to this reason also we don't uh, opt for uh, the circular sections and we go for the rectangular or the square sections all right so uh, this much for this video hope this video was helpful thank you for watching take care